Hello, hello, and welcome, Libra. This is going to be a general reading for the new moon in Scorpio today for mid-November 2020. Welcome all you Libra, sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. We're going to go ahead and pull the energy. How are you? And thank you all for the subscribers. I greatly appreciate it so much. It means so much to me. With Jupiter in the energy, Jupiter's expanding right now, Libra, wherever you focus your energy. So notice to keep very positive thoughts for positive results are going to happen in the snap of a finger. Yep, snap of a finger, Libra. Seven of Wands energy, you're coming up very fiery. This is also the weekend of Mars going direct after a three-month retrograde. This is setting terms with long-term goals that you had made already. What you had planted, the seed you have planted, you are ready for fruition. With the Seven of Wands, this is telling me you got your battle on, your armor's on. You see how he's armored up here and he's waiting for the seeds that he planted here. This is also telling me anyone or anything is not going to stand in your way right now. Seven of Wands is you're defending yourself at this time. You're in the energy of definitely completing a cycle where the veil is going to lift now. For the Scorpio New Moon, anyone that was at a lower level on a mental, physical level of thinking, you're not stooping down anymore. You're definitely being very protective of yourself at this time here. And you are ready to move forward. You're waiting. Yeah, you're done. You got the energy of the world here. You are completing that cycle here, Libra. The season right now that we've been is a heavy, heavy cycle. <clears throat> you are coming out of this. You're all about a house of relationships, all about relationship, duality, hot and cold, up and down. This is ending that cycle here. Like I said, you're pushing forward on what you believe in right now. Whatever energies are around you, you're standing your ground here. And with the Prince of Swords, this is telling me in this deck, this is your energy right now. And you want to move forward and push forward and you're going to cut out what no longer serves you. What the world card is, this is telling me you are a whole complete new reborn rising from the ashes kind of energy and you're moving forward on this with the prince of swords energy here this is telling me yeah you're ready to you're ready to sing loud and clearly this is what i want this is the change this is the transformation that's coming in here with the world card you finished a whole cycle here something very positive here the Seven of Wands is you could be guarding yourself against someone here that has Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. With the world, this is also that Pluto energy bringing a completion into a cycle here is what I feel. Let's put the tiger's eye I have for you on the cards today. And let's get what any messages are from the Scorpio full moon from my Libras. Show me what I need to see. There's a deep change happening within you right now. It's, it's at the depth of your soul, Libra. This is bringing in soul growth. Definitely, soul growth. It's all about any relationship, how you look at it. It's how you're moving forward and how you feel inside. This is what matters, is what I feel. I feel that you're sick of having to always defend yourself. And with that Prince of Swords, you're taking action. You're moving towards communication here. You're saying it like you got to say it is what I'm feeling. Prince of Swords is pushing through quickly here. This could be a lot of communication that's bringing a, a friction kind of energy also. With that Seven of Wands and Prince of Swords, it's like there's cutting words that could be said here is what I'm feeling. And ending to a cycle here where you've been defensive in the past here. From a certain person this could be is what I'm feeling. Let's get the moon advice. You want more emotional. You want to be more emotional satisfied here. And there's like something you have to get off of your chest here. So a message could be coming in here. There's an ending here is what I see with the world card. A completion in your life. 
show me what I need to see for Libra. Okay. Libra, your commitment is being tested. First quarter moon. Definitely. And it says meditate and contemplate. New moon and Pisces. You could be dealing with a Pisces or have Pisces in your chart, Libra, here is what I'm feeling. But with your commitment being tested here, you're definitely, it's like you're on defense right now. And this is something to do here with the lovers, definitely. It's telling me this is, could involve a Gemini here. With the lovers, it's all about a relationship here. And the energy of Jupiter coming around is I feel there was something here in the last three month period with the Mercury retrograde that you felt you could have restarted a relationship here that's still in your energetic field. This is something that has to do with a soul connection here. With Jupiter, this is defending yourself whether or not there's a second chance here. I feel in the past there was a lot of hope, a lot of faith. A lot of energy here of deep spirituality also between the both of you. Aquarius is here on this energy also. Six of Wands is there too. Telling me there is a karmic situation here. This is that unfinished business that's coming in. It's all about that energy. With the devil energy, there was a karmic connection here. Something toxic. There was an energy of you feeling you have to defend yourself from a toxic behavior pattern. With the energy of Saturn and Jupiter and Pluto, there's a cycle that's definitely completed here. And this has to do with a relationship. You have the world card, the will of fortune, and the devil. This is the conjunction between Saturn, Jupiter, and Pluto. And it has to do with a soul connection here that you've had, Libra, is what I feel. I feel that the time is with the Seven of Wands. You're defending yourself against this person. You're holding up. A boundary here this is someone here that was a lot of wish fulfillment in this with the stars this is also telling me whatever this was there was a learned lesson here this was written in the stars also here this was something that you had to have endured here for great spirituality to come from this and it's asking you with the six of wands there is something here that you are going to have victory on Libra at this time so if some of you Libras, if you're expecting and you have wishes fulfillment here, I do see victory coming to you. Jupiter brings good luck, good fortune in here. And it's telling me there is a cycle that needs to end. There's an energy here. Yeah, and there you are, Libra. Justice. Finding justice in your life here at a soul growth level here. There's an energy you could have had 35 years of karma restored rebalanced and set free this is definitely a overcoming care a fresh start is on its way a new beginning this is telling me this is a huge transformative energy a huge change you could have like i said for most of you that are 35 years and over you'll know the feeling here of completing a cycle in your life here a cycle here like i said that could have been a very passionate connection here this energy. I feel you're withdrawing your energy with the Hermit card. I have someone here who's very wise. Someone here that could be withdrawn their energy at the time from this connection. There's no communication. There's no, um, there's a separation here, but there's someone here that is picking up on your energy. I'm feeling. I'm feeling into energy, energy of you feeling with the justice this is ending any karmic cycles now. The scales have been balanced here. Prince of Swords is communication that's coming in here. You might be rushing in or a message could be rushing in here towards you. But I'm feeling the energy of you putting up walls right now. Not an open-hearted way of communication is what I'm not feeling here. I'm feeling there's like a defense system that you have between each other at this time. But a need for releasing that energy. It's like your commitment is being tested here. I feel you have a history, a long history here with someone, Libra. And there's a need for you to meditate at this time. Okay? And it says emotions are running high. Yeah. There's an energy of being very nervous, very agitated, very aggravated. An energy of wanting to push forward quickly here. 
a need for wanting communication needs to take place. Let's see, Libra. Okay. Lunar eclipse and that sign of Gemini is going to finish this cycle off. And it's going to reveal to you, Libra, what was hidden. It could come as a surprise. But this is making a choice here to end a cycle in your life, a chapter in your life here that needs to come up. This is whether you're looking at it as rebuilding or ending this cycle. But I feel you're not agreeing. You're not seeing eye to eye. Yeah, communication. There's that awakening. There's the revealing of what was once hidden during that time. This is Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. That eclipse in Gemini here is going to eclipse what no longer serves you. This is the veil lifting, bringing in a breakthrough at this time. This could be someone here, Libra, that was coming in and out of your life here. Someone that wasn't staying very long. This is like a passionate, long-distance affair kind of connection is what I'm feeling. With the Ace of Swords, there is a breakthrough. Or someone's coming to you to give you a breakthrough here. Knight of Wands, this is more fire energy. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Yeah, and let's see. Let's get the energy. What is the situation for my Libras? You're getting a crown chakra also here. Activation. You're getting downloads and you're also getting the truth will be revealed here. This Ace of Swords is bringing in a fresh new beginning. Revealed with truth. Yeah, no more sleepless nights. No more anxious energy. No more being in your head whether or not where this is going. Whether it's going to be a relationship that's moving forward or not. Is what I feel. I feel Libra's here. You could have Aries, Leo, or Sag in your chart. But I feel that you're ready to take action. You're now getting motivated. You're wanting to. I feel you getting up off of your sofa. Off of your chair. And wanting to go ahead and shoot forward on this. With the Ace of Swords is bringing in a, a breakthrough. Communication's coming in. You're wanting to take action here on something. Something you're fired up about, Libra. King of Wands energy. What is in the near future? What is in the near future for my Libra? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus sign. Near future. Yeah, you have to do what's necessary to move on from this. I feel you're cutting out something here. And it brings in a breakthrough for you. Yeah. And the tower card is at the bottom. When this truth comes in, this awareness here. It's going to move you forward. Six of Swords is your energy with Ace of Swords. This is Scorpio energy, Mars and Scorpio, bringing in a sudden revelation here. Something suddenly about someone here that you do not trust with the Seven of Swords. Someone here in the past that could have lied. You don't trust their energy. But the universe is coming in to reveal to you what was once hidden. So that you can move to, this, to the light at the end of the tunnel. There's an energy of you moving on in a relationship of your life. Wherever this could be. With the Ace of Swords and the Six of Swords, you're definitely moving forward. And the universe is doing it. There's a shake-up is what I'm, I'm feeling. But breaking away is what I feel. I feel you're breaking away from whatever karmic relationships you may have had. Wherever it kept you feeling anxious, sleepless nights here. A lot of mental energy being stuck in the thoughts. In your memory, in your, I'm feeling memories, I'm feeling nightmares also. You're moving away from whatever gave you a nightmare here, Libra. That's what I feel. What is in the energy of the challenge? What could be the challenge for my Libras? Lots of swords energy here. That's why I'm feeling... That's that energy of your commitment is being tested. I feel you're feeling this. That there's a need for you to make a decision. Do you walk away from this? It's time to move away. It's time to move away from this energy. And this is what your challenge is. There is no communication in this relationship. You're feeling that you're dealing with someone here that could have earth and dirt chart, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. You're not, this person is more focused on their work at this time. They're more focused on their, their business. This is an energy here of someone who's got a family. They're taking care of a family. And this energy is right now at this time, you're at a crossroads in your life. 
you can't see clearly you're not seeing eye to eye with this person and someone here with this communication you are getting ready to cut something out here being at a crossroad you're focusing should i focus on myself my self-worth here you have a decision here to make to move forward a need for you to trust your intuition at this time definitely trusting your intuition what is the advice what is the advice is to have strength here the need of inner strength inner willpower here there's an energy here of you being a very mature wise soul here knowing how to tame the beast here is what i'm feeling with the strength card this is telling me and the putting that you've been putting your work into yourself here with the three of pentacles there's something here that you're working on at this time and with the pentacles it's all about a game here working with others working well with others with the three is met the father son holy spirit the trinity here energy very very spiritual connection you have here with source creator also this is telling me whatever you're working on and putting your mind to you want to move away to calmer waters now you want to move away from whatever your energy i feel you're getting cut away from a, a toxic connection and the energy of rising yeah here's all that swords definitely the ten of swords you could have had a cycle here with 10 years doesn't make a difference one year 10 year 30 years 10 is a number of a completion telling me you've completed a cycle here in your life libra where you felt backstabbed betrayed there was a karmic connection here a toxic connection here that felt like if you were bonded to this person with the devil card there was an energy of someone likes to keep you stuck in this energy they kept you very stuck in this energy is what i'm feeling but i feel you're breaking away from this this is the light at the end of the tunnel here for you this is bringing in a new beginning one more card yeah this is bringing in a new beginning wow and this is what's coming out the new beginning a new blessing with the four of wands and this is you going with speed with action moving forward here it's an energy of what you're thinking at this time an energy of being truthful but delivering a harsh truth here is what i'm feeling with the four of wands energy coming out there's something here that you feel that you wanted a commitment you wanted to build a structure on this four of wands it is the 11 11 calling also this is telling me there is a divine guidance here from the hand of God coming in with the four of wands for you. Wherever you've been putting your energy in an area of your life, you're wanting structure at this time. Something that brings harmonious energy here. You're not, you're not, you're being very defensive also, but Jupiter, Jupiter is bringing in blessings for your courage, for your strength, for an energy where you are pushing through here in your home. I feel that you had to endure a lot of a difficult phase with this Ten of Swords energy. And now this is your new blessing, your new beginning here. You have an Ace of Wands here telling me there's definitely something you're very passionate about at this time. This is giving you the fuel for you to bring in something very creative. Something here that brings a spark back into your life, Libra. With the Ace of Wands, this is refueling your energy starting a new beginning here something that's very much in the creative energy yeah with the 11 11 card here you've definitely got scorpio energy in this reading here and this is telling me mars and scorpio is definitely shaking things up here so there could be an ending here process for you where you could be moving away from family members or someone in a relationship someone here that you're even leaving behind Someone that you know that you have a connection still deep down inside is what I feel. And your emotions are running very high at this time. <clears throat> Let's see what this Ace of Swords is for my Libra. Ace of Swords, Ace of Pentacles. There's your new beginning. There's your new beginning. After, the, after all the karma, the depths were repaid. Here's what I feel. An energy where good luck and good fortune is coming to you. And this is bringing in true prosperity to you with that 11-11 blessing all over this reading. Bringing in divine guidance 
You could have a new home here. You could have bought a new home. You could have started a new business here. There's the Scorpio with the death card. Endings bring in new beginnings. The sun shines on you from this. This is a huge, huge, huge transformation, Libra. You have the emperor energy. This is telling me you have Venus right now in Libra. And the, and the planets here that are moving through this reading, we definitely have Aries energy here. Someone here who's very um, much in control, taking control of the situation. And you're going through something here where you're ending something deep on a soul growth level. You're putting that to pass. The emperor energy is someone who's older. Someone who's a father figure here is what I'm feeling, Libra. There's an energy where you have children here. He's focused on his family and his children. He's going to put an end to the way that he used to be. This is a transformative energy. That Mars and Scorpio is pushing you towards an offer here. Ace of Pentacles. Communication coming in here for you. Something here that's about a new beginning. Something that's going to come in suddenly, Libra. You want to make an offer or someone's coming in to make an offer to you. Ending a huge chapter in your life here so that it brings in life changes is what I feel. You're building something here. Nine of Swords, talk to me. Yeah, there was a history here. There was an energy where there was really no movement. This is the slowest horse, the Knight of Pentacles. It's like slow and steady wins the race. You've put a lot of time and energy, Libra, into a relationship. And like I said, it was regretful but necessary to walk away from something here. You're walking away from something that was very emotional. You had a lot of love here for this person. But you needed to walk towards more emotional fulfillment. You are feeling very much alone, taking time out here. Let's see what the Six of Swords is. Yeah, you're moving towards the Ten of Cups. You are moving towards something here that you're making a decision here. You can't, it's like you're making a decision. I want happiness. I want love. I want it all. I want it all. I want the whole love rainbow bridge over your head here. Someone here is a single Libra. You're independent here. You're making a boss move here, Libra. And you're walking away from something that was regretful but necessary because you see happiness here with someone. Ten of Cups, you're moving towards someone here. There could be a physical move, but you're moving towards your family. This could be a family situation that you want to rebuild on, bringing that Four of Wands in. Definitely here, a connection that's going to be into a higher level is what I feel. It could go into marriage. It could go into long-term plans with the ten. Ten is a, a long-term plan with the eight of cups. Yeah. One more. You got four of wands twice. Clarifying, what are you moving into, Libra? That's why I felt seven of pentacles at the beginning. My, I felt it. You have planted seeds, Libra, a while back. And you've been analyzing and waiting and anxious. And your emotions are running high. You just want to run in and charge ahead here. You're moving, Libra, towards the light at the end of the tunnel. Well, get what, guess what the light at the end of the tunnel is? It's the new 5D heaven on earth energy. This is heaven on earth. If you can get this, Libra... Find a corner in this planet that brings in harmony, love. I feel there's a light worker here. If I, at 11, 11, if you're watching this reading, you are a light worker. You're a rainbow child. You're a star seed. Whatever seeds you have planted is bringing in God's abundance, is bringing in love. But this is the ultimate love, four of wands and ten of cups. And I feel a Libra here who's waited a very long time. And who wants to push forward. Like I feel suddenly you're going to make a decision and you're going to go for it. Two of swords speak to me. Yeah, you're going for it. You're going, you have 10, 10, 10 on this table. So I have someone here, a Libra, who does have a history. You are feeling this new moon in Scorpio transformation. And this is what you're, you're, you're trusting. 
you know deep down in your gut and your intuition something here is bringing in abundance you're feeling the jupiter coming in here to bless a relationship you could be having a grandchild here there's a wise libra here is what i see who has grandchildren family your children are married you could be crossing a bridge if this is for some of you that are crossing a bridge in their life you could be like i said someone more than 40 years old and you're making a new change toward history and this is something that wasn't easy time was involved here yeah and you are going for what you want and this is the energy that needs to fire you up now and this is the mars coming in here to push you forward on what you really believe in so that you can persevere it's telling me libra you have the stomach for this last step that leads towards happiness here i feel like saying follow the yellow brick road with the strength card you're following the golden path this is the golden path you're following here you have infinite abundance you have around your head here with the infinite symbol here this is telling me if you have to cross mountains, oceans, whatever it is, you will endure it. You will get to the point that you want to bring in abundance in your life in every area, Libra. Strength card, speak to me. Yeah, you will. You could have Aquarius that you're dealing with or have Aquarius in your chart here. This is your wishes. This is your dreams. It's saying follow your dreams. Follow your passions. Follow your heart here. Have the inner strength and don't let nothing, no one get in your way with the star card. This is aligned in the heavens for you with the star card. This is moving into the age of Aquarius. December 21st is the official movement in, into Aquarius. This is Leo in Aquarius right now here. So something by Aquarius season is telling me you're going to be sitting pretty, Libra. Yeah, you're going to be sitting pretty. There's all that abundance, the abundance here of you having strength because you've been working on yourself. You're knowing your self-worth, you're knowing your values. You're also putting something in here that's bringing in long-term abundance, generational wealth with the Eight of Pentacles, especially with that Ten of Pentacles. Look at this. Don't block it. The Ten of Pentacles. Persevere. Don't let anyone stand in your way from what you want, what you believe in. What you have faith in is written in the stars. It's yours. No one can take it away. I have 10, 10, 10 here. Show me what the 10 of swords is. Okay, 10 of swords. Like I said, what you've been waiting to do, you're about to do. You're about to see in your life fruition. You've been waiting. Three of wands. Your ships are coming in. Oh, my God. Your ships are coming in. There's your queen. There's your king. There's your empress. There's your emperor. You love each other deeply. There's deep love here. Someone here has Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. Look at this. After a very difficult chapter, a difficult phase in your life with the 10, 10, 10. Libra, your ships are coming in. Your queen or king has arrived. You both are mirroring each other. You're both madly in love with each other. This is telling me that you're coming into your balancing, emotional balancing. You are going to put those wands down here. And you are going to go through a deep, deep, deep healing from the Scorpio new moon. The Scorpio new moon is releasing all that energy so whatever this universe is bringing in for you with this tower moment, this is God, the creator, is bringing in, wow, true love, true new beginning here with communication for one another, speaking at a heart emotional level and building a new kingdom with that ace of pentacles. Wow, we wow. That is what I have. Let's get some angel messages. This was one of the most best readings I've ever seen for you, Libra. In my, I mean, for a long time. It says, Libra, you are a spiritual teacher. You have the ability to counsel others and help them awaken their spiritual gifts and life mission. You are very spiritual. This to me speaks that the both of you 
our spiritual wise teachers here. There is something coming around that's bringing good luck, good fortune, but it's also bringing your DNA is being activated. You're getting downloads here. And it's telling me you are building on the new earth energy here, heaven on earth. You are spiritual light workers, seers, your crystalline children here, your rainbow children. You are a star seed here, okay? You're a multi dimensional light being. You are a sovereign child of God. You're getting you're getting blessings. You are protected from all types of harm. The worst is now behind you. And I ask you to relax and feel safe. Libra, the worst is behind you now. Relax. Emotions are running high right now. Take this night and know that this day of Scorpio and the Moon is marking an event in history in your life. In history for the world. Because what's coming in here is you're being pushed and led to follow your heart. Follow the yellow brick road. Yep. Love you, Libra. Have a wonderful, wonderful Thanksgiving. Sending you tons of love and light. Bye.